Hello, my name is Andy Spoon, and today I'm going to introduce you to PASCO's PassTrack, part number ME6960. We're going to start off by unpacking the PassTrack and looking at how to assemble the individual pieces together. As you can see, if you first open up the box, it comes with two short half meter pieces and two connector pieces. We're going to start off by connecting one half meter piece with one connector. As you can see, the connectors are designed to slide into the end of the half meter pieces. You will hear a clicking sound letting you know that the connector piece has slid into position. You can then take the other half meter piece and slide it into the other side of the connector. With both pieces joined, you are now able to lock down the pieces, securing them together. This is just one of the many features of PASCO's PassTrack, making it easily storable, configurable, and lightweight for both students and educators. As you can see, with both pieces apart, they easily can be packed away. Each piece is also structurally rigid, allowing it to not warp over time and allowing it to take the abuse of typical day-to-day -day lab activity. To accompany PASCO's pass track, there is also a curved pass track, parts ME6841. We're going to now take a second to look at parts ME6841. Inside of the package, you'll see that there's very similar two smaller pieces and two jointer pieces. You'll notice that these are the same two jointer pieces used in the pass track system. We're now going to look at how those system pieces join together. The curved pass track pieces comes with the same jointers, a convex shaped piece of pass track, and a concave piece of pass track. We're now going to connect these pieces together very similarly to how we connected the pass track. We're going to insert the joiner pieces on each end. And as you see, they make the same snap action together and they have the same screws locking them together. We're now going to take this new piece of curved pass track and connect it to one of our short half meter sections from the pass track kit. I'm going to start off by taking a joiner piece and connect it to the end of one of my half meter sections. I'm going to insert my new curved pass track and I'm going to insert my other half meter section into the other end. As you can see, this now creates a nice long curved pass track system. With this new system, you can look at potential and kinetic energies and varying speeds as your cart moves across different heights. Once again, this is the same system that allows you to use all your introductory dynamic system accessories, including the photogate head adapter and motion sensor adapter to measure the speed and position of your cart as it moves across your pass track. For example, this is just one of many applications of using the pass track in your classroom. As you can see here, the photogate head accessories attach just like they would to your introductory dynamic system. Your rod stands use the same joiner to attach to the track. Your motion sensor still clips onto the end, and even your pass car still moves smoothly across the track, just like it does in all your other simple motion experiments. 